so most of you already know but i did a video probably like a couple months ago about uh prison reform and criminal justice reform um and so the video got a pretty interesting response so i did just want to come back and update you guys and let you know what has been going on with the first step act so just to give you a little bit of a reminder the first step act started in the house where it was voted on um the vote was 360 to 59 with 57 democrats voting this particular bill down okay they didn't feel like it did enough well, the bill ended up moving on to the Senate. Um, the bill was actually set on for quite a while. Um, Mitch McConnell was holding this up as far as being voted on. President Trump ended up coming out and basically endorsing the bill, which started a lot of talks about it. So at some point, um, Mitch McConnell finally ended up bringing this to vote at the Senate. Not only that, the Senate had added um, sentencing reform, which basically made the bill stronger. Um, it made the bill more fair, and it would just help a lot more for people in the federal prison system. So when the bill was finally brought to the floor, it ended up passing smoothly and easily with the vote being 87, 87 to 12 with no Democrats voting it down. Um, after that, it did go back to the House just for them to approve the revisions, passed easily there, went to Trump's desk, was signed, and today we now have the First Step Act. So, I just want to um, give you a reminder of some of the things that the First Step Act will actually do. Okay, so this is from BrennanCenter.org, how the First Step Act became law and what happens next, the making of a historic criminal justice reform bill. How the First Step Act tackles our outdated sentencing laws. The First Step Act shortens mandatory minimum sentences for nonviolent drug offenses. It also eases a federal three strike rule, which currently imposes a life sentence for three or more convictions and issues a 25 year sentence instead. Most consequentially, it expands the drug safety valve, which would give judges more discretion to deviate from mandatory minimums when sentencing for nonviolent drug offenses. In an overdue change, the bill also makes the Fair Sentencing Act retroactive. Passed in 2010, the Fair Sentencing Act has helped reduce the sentencing disparity between crack and powder cocaine offenses, a disparity that has hurt racial minorities. The First Step Act will now apply the Fair Sentencing Act to 3,000 people who were convicted of crack offenses before the law went into effect. Beyond sentencing reform, the First Step Act includes provisions that will improve conditions for current prisoners and address several laws that increase racial disparities in the federal prison system. The bill will require federal prisons to offer programs to reduce recidivism, ban the shackling of pregnant women, and expand the cap on good time credit or small sentence reductions based on good behavior from around 47 to 54 days per year. That good time amendment will benefit as many as 85% of federal prisoners. A few other things that this particular article did not mention is that this bill stops juveniles from being placed in solitary confinement. And then it also moves uh, federal prisoners closer to their loved ones, closer to their homes. So it's not as expensive for people to constantly make calls um or have to drive so far to visit their loved ones in federal prison now i would encourage you guys to actually go read this particular article by brennancenter.org they are a um non-profit advocacy group that basically uh advocated for prison reform they talk about how the prison reform came about the different steps that it went through um and it also talks about what they plan to do next 
how they are addressing issues, how they can make it better, and some of the incentives that the government could actually give to help this work on a state level as well. So the, interest, the article is really interesting, so I will drop the link below, so make sure to check that out. But speed up today, we now have the First Step Act, which is already in motion. People are being released from prison as we speak. One of those people, one of the first people being Matthew Charles, who um, did an interview with NBC News a couple of nights ago. Hey, how y'all doing? Matthew Charles has seen this movie before. The broad smiles, the hugs, the taste of newfound freedom. I'm humbled, I'm thankful, I'm grateful. This time, he hopes he's home for good, walking out of a Kentucky detention center Thursday night after a combined 22 years in prison for selling crack cocaine. His 35-year sentence reduced retroactively, thanks to President Trump's First Step Act, a sweeping criminal justice reform bill signed last month. So what's it like to be free? What's it like to... Oh, to walk along the river and see the trees and uh, uh, it's unexpressible in words and i mean it's something i've been dreaming about for close to 21 years now 22 years now. all right y'all so that's it i did just want to update you guys and let you know that this bill is currently working and already going into effect um hopefully we will see more changes and more work on criminal justice reform in the near future. I will be keeping my eyes on it. And so if there's any updates or any other stories, I do plan to possibly share that with you guys in the near future. Um, but as you can see, there are people already being released back into society. And this will benefit so many people and their families. Um, so that's it. Leave your comments and your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe.